Okay, so here we are on Coinbase Pro. We're looking at the order book. We're looking at the trade history. This looks like something out of the matrix. And you might be saying to yourself, wow, I need some specialized drugs in order to understand bids, asks, order books, trade history. It's not the case at all. This is actually very simply to explain. We're going to look at it from the side of Cardano. So the pair ADA, USD. So we're going to break this down for you into a very easy to understand manner using this low budget infographic right here so cardano's price is currently 90 cents 0 0.90 what are we looking here on the left hand side this is the bid and the size what is a bid a bid is basically the highest price someone is willing to buy at at the moment so as you can see here someone or a couple of people amounting to 40 cardano digital tokens which is ADA are willing to buy it at 89 cents. Now, why is it sitting here instead of getting filled? Well, the answer is because currently Cardano trades at 90 cents and these are limit orders. And if you don't know limit orders, make sure to watch how to use limit orders on Coinbase Pro. I explain limit orders very simply. But basically, people put orders on this side where they are looking to purchase Cardano, but only if it drops to a price of 89 cents or to a price of 87 cents, 85 cents, right? So the way to read this is there are 40 Cardano tokens waiting to be bought at 89 cents because that is the highest that currently the top buyer is willing to pay. Now below that you will see there are many other limit orders in and they will decrease in price because they're waiting for a really good price. Now you might ask yourself why is there a 100 ADA willing to be bought at 75 cents? Well maybe I look at Cardano and I say this is going to go down significantly and so I'm only willing to buy at 75 cents i'm not willing to pay a penny over 75 cents and so i put this limit order in i go to sleep i go about my life and if the price of cardano drops below 75 it will get triggered so this is the bid and this is the size for those that are willing to buy so we'll put it right here people willing to buy is this side in green now what is this side conversely this is going to be people willing to sell what does it mean someone is willing to sell five ADA at 92 cents someone else or a group of people are willing to sell 70 ADA at 95 cents yet another group of people or individual is willing to sell 16 ADA at 96 cents so on and so forth now the difference between the bid and the ask that is closest to the current price is referred to as the spread which is three cents now there is something called market makers they can make money off the spread there's market takers there's automated market makers we'll make videos on those in the future but you don't really need to know that unless you are a crazy hyperactive day trader who like makes a bazillion trades in a minute you don't really need to be concerned with that as far as cardano or very liquid assets are concerned now when people refer to the spread if the spread is very high that means that a certain crypto is not very liquid or liquid at the moment and I'll make a separate video on liquidity but let's get back to bid ask and order book so this right here that I'm circling around is basically an order book so somebody is putting in a limit order let's say right here to sell 2000 of their ADA or Cardano at a dollar and two cents nobody is willing to do that at the moment because it's trading at 90 cents why would they pay a dollar two to go ahead and buy it from the seller so it goes in the order book so as this price changes some of these orders for a bid are going to get triggered some of these orders for an ask are going to get triggered let's see an example where that happens so let's say somebody comes along and they say i have cardano but i want to buy my girlfriend some dinner so i'm going to go and sell a hundred of cardano they see that the current price is 90 which just means this is the last time that the buyer and seller met and made a transaction which was at 90 cents and they tell themselves you know what i'm going to go ahead and just sell it right now for whatever the buyers are willing to pay so since they're selling 100, they go ahead and sell 40 for 89 cents. That gets taken out of the order book. 
and now they have 60 left and they go ahead and sell 60 for 87 cents and now they've sold their 100 ADA or Cardano and these got taken out of the order book. Now the next person that's willing to pay the highest for Cardano is this individual that is willing to buy 15 at 85 cents. Now what does this mean? It means that the price will likely change to 87 because this is the last order that went through this limit order for someone waiting to buy 60 Cardano at 87 cents and it got filled because this seller who wants to impress his girlfriend went ahead and sold 100 and it eclipsed this trade. So it gets taken out of the order book and will make the current price 87. Now look, the next person that is willing to pay the highest for Cardano's 85 cents and the person willing to sell is still here sitting at 92 cents with an order of five willing to sell his five Cardano or ADA at 92 cents. So what happens to the spread? Well, the spread is now the difference between 85 cents and 92 cents, which is 7 cents. Now, let's say a buyer comes along and they say, you know what? My ex wants nothing to do with me, but I want to win her back and she used to be heavy into crypto. So I'm going to buy 50 Cardano for her and I'm going to bring it to her in an hour. So I'm just going to buy it right now. I don't really care what the asking price is. I'm just going to put a market order in so that it fills right now for 50 Cardano. So what's going to happen? Well, as we see here, someone is willing to sell five Cardano for 92 cents. So this is going to get filled. And that buyer just paid 92 cents for five Cardano. And now they still have to buy 45. So they go to the next order in the order book and they go ahead and they scoop up 45 ADA or Cardano at 95 cents. So they bought five at 92 cents. 45 at 95 cents. Now what happens to the order book since this entire 70 was not filled? Well, it simply changes to 25 because 70 minus 45 is 25. And so now the order book looks like this. By the way, let's go ahead and fix what the price would be. So the price now would likely be somewhere closer to 95 cents because that is where last the buyer and the seller met. And the spread would increase even more because the difference now between 95 and 85 is 10 cents. Now, realistically, the spread would not be increasing because a bazillion bids and asks are being put in at any moment. And Cardano has a high trading volume. This is the amount that is traded every single day. And for a crypto that has a high trading volume, typically you don't see the spread be too high. It's actually probably super, super thin where there is pretty much no difference between the bid and the ask. Now, let's go ahead and take a look back at Coinbase Pro that we were very overwhelmed with before and see if we can make sense of it. Now let's take a look here. The green is the bids. This is why they're decreasing as we go down because these are the orders of people waiting to buy at lower prices than what Cardano is currently trading at and currently is trading at 0.8976 and so these are all going to be lower because they're waiting to be filled. Now these in red, they're all going to be higher because these are people that hold Cardano, they bought Cardano and they're waiting to sell it but at a better price than 0.8973 and so over here you see the spread and the spread is so tiny look at this 0 0.0001 0 0.0002 depending on the trades that go through and over here you can see the trade history where I'm pointing to right now and it shows the trade size the price and and the time and the effect that had on the price. And so obviously if there's red and it made the price go down, this suggests it was a sale. And if the green and the price is going up, this suggests it was a buy driving up the price a little bit. And the red again is a sell that drove down the price a little bit. Now if it drove the price down a lot or it drove the price up a lot, that would likely suggest that this asset Cardano is illiquid at the moment. There is not a lot of liquidity. Again, I'm going to make a video on liquidity, but this is basically how you read an order book 
trade history, and how you look at a price chart. I've made a video on candlesticks before, so if you're curious what the heck is going on here, it's not Hanukkah, it's not someone's birthday, this is a candlestick chart, and I do wish that Coinbase Pro really enhanced their charts because this is very, very simple, and you can't do much with technical analysis here, whereas on other platforms like Binance, you can do a lot more. So hopefully Coinbase Pro gets on top of this. But as far as the order, book it is very accurate and remember every single exchange has their own order book now you may ask yourself well what if the order book of coinbase pro was different than the order book of binance well traders are very good at spotting market inefficiencies and profiting off that so what they would do if cardano was trading for a much higher price on coinbase and a much lower price on binance they would go and buy on binance and sell on coinbase evening out the price and there are people that watch Watch this all the time and try to make some money off of the difference in price between exchanges. So hopefully this helped you understand a little bit about what an order book is and also clear up some misconceptions about bid, ask and spread. So if you enjoyed this very low budget tutorial, please do me a favor, tell your crypto friends about me, leave me a like, leave me a comment on how I can make this tutorials better, which topic you wish for me to cover next, and I will see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you lots.